Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm super excited to share with you three of my favorite notes and one perfume that really showcases that note that I love. So I'm so excited! But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. We're a great bunch here, so it's worth it's worth subscribing. And yeah, let's get into this. So uh, the first note that is an absolute love of mine is raspberry. I absolutely love raspberry. I love eating raspberries. I have raspberry bushes in my backyard. Um, I said before it that if I were a fruit, it would be a raspberry, juicy, vivacious, and a little bit lumpy. That is me in a nutshell, happy, juicy fruit. Um, I love the color of raspberries. In fact, raspberry color is probably one of my favorite colors ever. I love that shade. It looks great on me. Uh, not that I ever wear it because I can't find raspberry colors very often uh, around. But anyway, you get the hint. Raspberry's always been a massive favorite of mine. I love it in my shower gels, my lotions, raspberry, raspberry, raspberry. Love it. The raspberry fragrance that I chose to share with you today is So Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, now this one, um, I just absolutely love this one. For me, So Scandal is more of a spring-summer scent. You could wear it all year round, but to me it just gives that spring-summer vibe. You know, I wanna just clarify. A lot of times I'll say, oh, the, you know, scent for winter, for summer. Really, it's all relative. First of all, our climates are so different, so what I would consider a summer scent, someone else might think that it's, or what I consider a winter scent, uh, some may wear it in the summer, like who knows? Like everybody's so different. So, and really there are no rules. You can wear a fragrance whenever you want, but this gives me a spring summer vibe. So that's when I tend to gravitate towards it or want to wear it. Oh, it's just beautiful. There's raspberry, there's tuberose, and there's milk in this. Now the milk is just kind of subdued and in the background. Definitely get that tuberose. It's more of that bubblegum sweet tuberose. Uh, and then the raspberry note, it's not a natural raspberry smell, so it's more like a raspberry candy. So I think those tart raspberry candies that I'd had when I was a kid, that kind of flavor. Um, there's a tartness to it, uh, but just definitely sweet and fruity and delicious. So I love this wearing this one. It puts me in a great mood, makes me feel so happy. Um, it's just flirty, vivacious, juicy, and fun. Now the next note that I would say, it, it was a toss up. So I really like boozy notes in fragrance, like liquor, uh, but, but probably more than that, I love tobacco. So the fragrance I chose to share with you is Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Now you know I just have the little decant, but I love this fragrance so much. Um, I, like I've got dupes for it. Nothing is quite like the original for me. Uh, so this is like dried fruits, tobacco. It's sweet. It's it's vanillic, but that tobacco comes out so beautifully uh, mixed with the dry fruits. To me, this smells like I'd be smoking a pipe. So I think like. Um, you know, I've said this before, I just imagine I'm walking through the, you know, on the hills of Ireland or something like that. I've got a cape on, I've got a walking stick, I've got really cool riding boots on. And then, and it's kind of crisp outside, a little bit damp. And then I go inside into a pub and you smell the warmth of, of the wood and you smell some liquor. I smell like some booziness in this but then it's like the wood has absorbed years and years and years of uh, pipe tobacco and cigars and, and that sort of smell. So not stale cigarettes, more like fresh tobacco. I don't know why, but fresh tobacco, the smell of it makes my mouth water. Like I just love it. So this smells, uh, like I just think of people laughing, there being music in the background, and this smell just being in the air. I find this inviting, warm, uh, it's quite sensual, it's comforting to me. Uh, it makes me just feel uh, somehow 
it makes me feel transported to like a small kind of pub atmosphere where everybody knows each other, everyone's laughing, and yeah, it's just a really good time. So my last favorite uh, note is tuberose these days. I am so digging tuberose. Now there's so many beautiful tuberose fragrances. This has tuberose, uh, Velvet Vanilla uh, by Mansara, beautiful tuberose fragrance, Prada La Femme, gorgeous tuberose fragrance. But the one I wanted to share with you today uh, is L'Interdit by Givenchy. This is the Eau de Parfum. And the reason why is because it's paired also with a favorite note, which is pear. Um, I love this fragrance. To me, this is so sensual and delicious. It's kind of a bit syrupy, uh, definitely more of the bubblegum tuberose in this one. This one has pear and bergamot in the opening, but I get mainly that pear, but it's balanced with that, that bergamot. So there's a bit of a hit of, of a, a little hit of citrus. And then this has tuberose, orange blossom and jasmine in it, but I primarily get that tuberose for sure. And then the base has patchouli, vanilla, ambroxan, and vetiver. Uh, definitely it's vanilla heavy. So this to me is just so sensual, but it's also classy. It smells luxurious. Uh, this to me is the epitome of a woman like a woman that's come into her own and she kind of knows that she's a sensual, sexual being, uh, but she's also very classy and understated and uh, intoxicating and she's very confident. This is uh, L'Interdit by Givenchy, the Eau de Parfum. It's so, so beautiful. The pair in this, the pear in this is a little bit more, uh, It's I'd say it's like it's been reduced. It doesn't smell cooked though. So it does smell a little fresher. Maybe it's because of that bergamot, but it smells a little bit fresher, but somehow reduced. So you're getting that essence of the pear. Not super green, a little bit more overripe. Uh, and then with that tuberose, it's just so, so beautiful. It's a very strong though, so keep that in mind. Uh, it can get a bit cloying, uh, so in the, the super, super major heat, this one kills me. <laughs> like, it's just too much. Uh, but seriously, actually, it's so gorgeous, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on right now, man. Like, it is so gorgeous. Just beautiful. So I love it. L'Interdit by Givenchy. And those are my three favorite notes. So we've got Raspberry, So Scandal, Tobacco, Tobacco Vanille, and Tuberos, L'Interdit by Givenchy. All three of these gorgeous, gorgeous fragrances. What are your favorite three notes? Please let me know what they are and share with me your favorite perfume. With that note, I would love to know. And that's it. I hope that you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.